Okay, everyone. Um, good afternoon. This is a Zwickrail machine which we use to do the tensile testing. It's Zwickrail Z030, which means it can apply a load of 30 ton. We put the specimen in here. These are the two jaws. First, we put the specimen in the upper jaw, then, we put the specimen in the lower jaw. So, I just put the specimen up and I just hold this one to close it so because I'm on my own and I'm holding the camera so I'm just gonna put the camera down and put the specimen in the jaw so now I have put the specimen in the jaw by opening and closing from here then as a safety precaution I close that one then here this is the main controller I just turn the on button to make sure the machine is on then I go to the computer. Now this is the most important thing. I go to the computer, I click on the program. The program is called the Text Expert 2. And this is a part of the thing you need to discuss in your assignment as well. How the test has been performed, which software has been used. When I click on that one, it opens a wizard like that. I cannot perform the test without doing the sum settings. So I have to go in the visit, which is here. And then it will ask me certain questions. It will ask me for the start position, grip to grip separation, the separation from one grip to another grip. I need to discuss that. It is 100 millimeter. I want the speed at which the test is carried out. This is five millimeter per second. And then I need to do the preload. preload is a load that is applied on the specimen before it starts. So usually we apply a certain amount of preload, in this case 0 0.1, to make sure to remove any slag from the material, any slack from the material. Okay, so that's that one done. Then we enter the specimen data. Specimen data is the thickness. Yes, yeah, specimen thickness, specimen width, cross-sectional factor, and so on. We don't add the cross-sectional factor of one, so it means just it's uh, one ratio one. Then I do the testing. When I click on the testing, I, I already said that one, so, and then end of test result. What would I like at the end of the test? It would be printed. Then the results, which I want. So this is all the result that I would like it to be printed now this actually there's a if you have a look there's a L O L C and this is all the thing that I said I will just put a so these are abbreviation that we you need to know all of that one is here then e modulus I click on the e modulus I click on the yield point yield point on the, that point and that point on the graph that's called the yield point Break investigation. Do I need to perform any investigation after the break? Actions after the test. I click on optical assessment. Data. Test memory. Click on that one. Control parameter and that one. When I click, you see here on the top it says force. I haven't even applied the force. And it says force is 8.2. Grip to grip separation is 100. And cross set absolute is 488. What does that 488 mean? Which means this button is at 488 millimeter. And this separation from here to here, it is actually a grip to grip separation. This is a safety mechanism. If it comes down, it hits that one, it actually turns on the machine. We use that one for compression actually. So that's that one done. Now, then before I start the test, I need to make sure. The force is 8.2. I need to click on this button to make the force zero. Force zero, that becomes zero. And then I just start the test. And when I start the test, you will see the graph. Keep looking at the graph. You can see the machine is plotting the graph and the machine is pulling itself apart. Yeah. And then obviously this, I've done the setting very nominal and it's actually taking some time at the bottom it says like DL change in length right now is 2.1 millimeter the time is 22 seconds 
force that has been applied is 15. That's a lot of force. Because the way I've done the setting, I've just done the setting quite uh, slow. So the test is going to do very slowly. And you can see on the graph, if we have a look at the graph, you see it already identified the point. But obviously, you have to find this point yourself. This point here is a line that was straight. After that, only start to deviate. So this is the kind of the yield point. Yeah. And then the graph goes on and on and on.